welcome and good morning in today's class we will see controlled off air rectifier in previous class we have seen simulation of uncontrolled off wave rectifier in uncontrolled off wave rectifier you we used a diode in controlled off wave rectifier here we will use an ser ser the full form for ser is silicon controlled rectifier now let us get our components go to simscape simpower system specialized technology fundamental blocks you need ac source resistor power guy go to power electronics and get thyristor the other name for sta ser is thyristor voltage measurement current measurement and then go to simulink sources and get pulse generator last finally you get spoke Now let us connect the source to anode input and output to current measurement. change the load to r load and select resistor value as r here we are going to measure load voltage source voltage and load current so change the number of input in scope from 1 to 3 next now let us configure the circuit. Go to AC source, give the value as 230, change the frequency to 50. Now let us connect the pulse generator to gate of the thyristor. Thyristor is having three terminal anode, cathode, and gate. Now let us change the amplitude of gate as 10. Change the time period as 0.02 and pulse width as 20 and the phase angle as 0 0.0015. Now apply the value. Then connect. First, let us connect the voltage measurement. Next, load voltage load current. Now simulate the circuit. Split the waveform into three different three individual waveform. Now you can see that in diode you will get the whole positive cycle. But here I can assign the value from which the output should start. 
that is called as firing angle. Now, now the firing angle is 0 0.0015. 0 if I change the firing angle to 0 0.002, the output will start from here. Now let us go and change the firing angle to point zero two apply and similar to it. Now you can see that now the output starts from point zero zero two and hence at point zero zero. This is the reason why it is called as half controlled rectifier. Now again I can assign the value from 0 0.00 to 0 0.00. Again minimize circuit, go to pulse generator and change the value from 0 0.00 to 0 0.00. Sorry, a change wrongly entered the value here. Go to phase delay, change 2 into. Now you can see that the waveform now starts at 0 0.003 and ends at 0 0.001. That means some portion of the input is lost. This is called as firing angle. Now the waveform output starts here. This is the reason why it is called as controlled off wave rectifier. Because by using the firing angle of the SCR, I can control the output of the rectifier. We change the phase delay from 3 to 6. I will get only half of the hint, right? And hence it is called as off wave control rectifier. Now let us change the type from RL to RC and let us see what will happen. There is a slight change Now you can see that the range of the waveform is distorted because of the inductive property of the load. When compared with the rusty load, the waveform of your RL load is distorted. Next, let us go to a chain. Let us change the circuit from RC to RL to RC. Also, you can see that now the waveform has come back to the original position, but you can see that here there is a voltage. Now, here during the negative cycle, the output does not come to zero, it maintains a constant value. During the negative cycle, the output does not come down to zero. We are having this value because of the capacitor. During negative cycle, the capacitor starts to discharge. This is the effect of inductor and capacitor in an rectifier circuit. Thank you.